Hey everyone. So for today's video, we're going to go over a few mice that work really well for your Mac. Now I did a series of videos regarding this, but this is kind of a follow up to that. And today we're only going to have three. We're going to, of course, do the Logitech MX Master 3S, as well as the MX Anywhere 3S, and the always divisive Apple Magic Mouse. Okay, for the first mouse, we're going to look at the Logitech MX Master 3S. Now, I'm sure many of you are familiar with this. It's been around for a little while. And uh, the only real difference between the MX Master 3 and the MX Master 3S, on the MX Master 3S, the clicks are very quiet, nearly silent. So you don't really hear anything. Also, it's got great ergonomics. As you can see, your hand can just sit on it. Your thumb falls in place right here. You've got programmable buttons here and here, a scroll wheel here. You also have the standard left and right buttons up here. The scroll wheel, you can set to scroll infinitely, which of course is not infinite, but it can scroll freely for quite a bit of time. And that's really handy if you're scrolling through a long document. Now, if you want to go line by line or have something that's a little more incremental, all you would need to do is press this button here, and then it doesn't flow as freely. It actually will click silently. You can control up to three different devices. Just pairing them down here. Of course, you do have the on and off. And you can use this while it's charging. You just plug it in right here, USB-C to USB-C, or it could go USB-C to USB-A, depending on your, what your use case is. It's a fairly heavy mouse, so this might not be ideal for gaming or something along those lines, but it's not designed for that. This is designed for ergonomics, for long hours of use, and to give you as much functionality as possible. It can connect via Bluetooth or Logitech Secure Logi or Logi Bolt USB receiver. It charges pretty fast, and a single charge can last up to 70 days and I can vouch for the battery life. It doesn't take long to charge it, and it lasts a very long time. As a matter of fact, one minute of charging gets you about three hours of use with the optional uh, Logi or Logi Options Plus software that you can get from Logitech. You can also remap the buttons, and you can use the single mouse to scroll over to an iPad, another Mac, or something along those lines across multiple monitors, multiple devices. Now you do need to use the Logi Options software to do that, but it's very easy to install and it works quite well. Most people feel this is far superior to the flat and less sculpted Apple Magic Mouse, making it easier to use on your wrists for long sessions. Also using Logi Options, you can tailor the buttons and gestures to different apps. It has great precision and it is quite widely recognized and regarded as one of the top mice that you can get, in particular in this case for a Mac. Now some users have reported some lag when it comes to Bluetooth or a little or a little bit of jitter. I've not run into any issues like that. I've had this for mm, I think going on three years now. It's not been a problem at all. I really do like it and I would highly recommend it. It also comes in black, which I do have that one and uh, I, I don't know if you can see this on the camera. But over time, it does tend to get a little yellow and such from the oils from your skin. And you can clean it up, but it, it'll never quite go back to what it was. The black one, you can hide that. So that's something you want to keep in mind if you're considering this mouse. Now, the next mouse we're going to look at is the Logitech MX Anywhere 3S. Now, this one is much smaller, much lighter, easier to travel with. However, the clicks, I'm not sure if you can hear that but it's not as quiet as the MX Master 3S. But this is easier to travel with. You can just drop it into your computer bag or backpack. It also can control up to three devices and it can be charged while you're using it. It is a lower profile, so your hand does sit lower, but you do still have the programmable buttons here on the side where your thumb can fit and you still have the left and right click, and the scroll wheel works the same as on the MX Master 3S. You can spin it quickly, 
or you can click this and have it be incremental. Using the Logi Options software, this will also work on multiple devices at the same time, whether it be an iPad or a MacBook or an iMac. You can just scroll from screen to screen. This also has up to 70 days on a full charge and also three hours of use on just a one minute charge. Being this is much lighter and much more compact, this is great for travel. Another one that I highly recommend, great mouse. Now our next mouse is the most divisive. This is the Apple Magic Mouse. Now it has great features, but it does have a few issues as well. It is light, slim design, fits into your backpack really well so you can travel with it. What's great about this is the top, you can program it for a left click and a right click, but you can also use gestures up here because this is essentially a small trackpad. That's what's really cool about this. Since it's made by Apple, the integration is seamless, pairs quickly, it has great battery life, requires no extra drivers, and it's reliable and responsive. You'll have minimal downtime because it does charge quickly. However, and that brings us to one of the points that is very divisive. If you want to charge it, you have to charge it on the back. Now I have the Lightning version, but I do believe it's available in USB-C now. But because of where the charger's at, without some type of adapter, you cannot use this while it's charging. That's a huge drawback. Some people do find, because it is so low profile, your hand essentially is practically flat. And for some users, that doesn't help with their wrist. For me, I like it. I've got fairly small hands, so, so since it's flat, this works just fine. I have no issues with this mouse at all and highly recommend it as long as it's okay for your wrist and your use case. But that one big caveat is that charging port. Why they put it on the bottom, I will never fully understand. It seems like they should be able to redesign this and make it more usable, make it less dumb, at least as far as the location of the charging port. But I do still recommend this for seamless integration with your Mac workflow and the ecosystem. It is a very good product. It has great features. The top being essentially a trackpad where you can have gestures and everything else, that's, that's great. Now, the MX Master 3S, you do still have much of that functionality built in there that with the programmable buttons, and it's easier to use as far as charging if it's low and still using it. And most people will find that that one, the ergonomics are much better. So let's take a look at all of them together here. And there you go. Apple Magic Mouse, obviously the lowest to the ground are the surface of your desk. The Logitech MX Master 3S, the most ergonomic, and the Logitech MX Anywhere 3S is kind of a good combination. For my use cases, I use all three and I'll switch between them. Now for long-term use, I do tend to gravitate more towards the MX Master 3S. It has just about all the functionality of the Magic Mouse, but with better ergonomics and better ergonomics than even the MX Anywhere. And if it starts to run low, you can use it while it's charging. So tell me, what did you think? Which one of these mice do you think might work best for you? If you have a different mouse that you're currently using that you think is better than these three, please leave a comment down below and I'd love to hear about it. Also, if you found some value in this video, please consider giving a like and subscribing and possibly sharing so that we can try to get this channel to grow a little bit. There are some affiliate links down below where you can get some discounts. There's no additional costs to you. However, it does help the channel. So until next time, have a good one. See ya.